So the Nokia 6230i. This example is looking a bit worse for wear, but that hasn't stopped me before. Plus, I think this is an iconic phone. It's the only one I could get my hands on. So there we have it. I guess it's time to take an in-depth look at this thing and see what uh, was uh, all the fuss about back in the mid-2000s. But for a more in-depth view at this thing, let's put it tabletop and see what we have to work with. So the Nokia 6230i. It was launched way back in 2005 and it was a rather, um, well, an obvious uh, step up and a safe evolution over the previous 6230. It improved on basic functions, it offered a better camera and more connectivity features, but basically they were, Nokia were playing it safe. This brings me back. Anyway, Nokia was playing it safe with this phone, so they, well, they wanted to, um, uh, well, they wanted to improve on the back then uh, well-established uh, design and um, recipe of phone, uh, the 6230. Uh, this improved i version offered the TFT of 65 color 65,000 color display a 1.5 inch in diagonal and uh, well uh, not really much else if you come to think about it in today's world though it did have a 1.3 megapixel uh, camera at the back with <laughs> a rather ridiculous uh, video capability i'll put the resolution uh, afterwards because i can't even imagine what that was it's a q cif resolution uh, though it did offer polyphonic and mp3 type alerts and um, well, no Wi-Fi, but Bluetooth 1.2 and stereo FM radio, though you had to have the headphones as they worked as an antenna. There's also pop port type USB connectivity. I believe that was the established Nokia connection type port seen here at the back. Uh, though there was no 3.5 millimeter jack, so you had to buy the proprietary design Nokia headphones if you wanted to connect your, uh, well, to listen to radio or music or uh, communicate hands-free and whatnot. Uh, well, the screen is rather nice looking and let's try to take a picture so you can see what we're dealing with here in terms of uh, features and so on. Right, so here we are, the camera, and we're gonna take a picture. Right, so you can see the picture right here. <laughs> Let me just zoom in a bit. So, pretty, I don't know, decent looking picture even for today. I'm sure that this would have been considered of great uh, quality, the camera I mean, way back in 2005 when this phone actually came out. There's also, I don't know, a night um, shooting mode and a portrait mode, which just uh, um, gives you um, the option to reduce the uh, dimension of the picture and just, I guess, send it as a selfie. Here we have an example of that image. And really, you could use the back, I don't know, you could... Well, anyway, it's a portrait mode. Here's the <laughs> here's the proof. So let's have a look at the insides of the phone and see um, a bit of what uh, hardware meant in yesteryear's technology. The battery is removable, of course, and it's a uh, lithium 
ion 900 milliamp hours BL5C type. This type of Nokia battery was very um, spread out through their range. Um, here you can see at the back the well the SIM tray and also there's a memory card slot, um, MMC slot if I remember correctly. And this is a 32 megabytes um, card. It's original to the phone. Let's check out what the maximum amount of um, memory this thing could take. Yeah, so up to 512 megabytes. I believe this type of um, removable memory card was shared with the Siemens and they also offered a mini MMC and a micro one, I believe. So half and a quarter of this also. But they, anyway, uh, this uh, ran out of um, fashion uh, in the tech world quite early. It's basically, it looks like an SD card. Let me show it to you again. Here it is. It just differs a bit as far as connector uh, style and so on. So here inside you could also see the Nokia markings and the model and designation. Let me just get a closer look. This one, it appears it was built in Germany. So let me just put this thing back together and we'll try to draw up some conclusions to this video. So the Nokia 6230i, was it an important phone? Yes, it was. It was one of the most mm, impressive and uh, well-established uh, phones in its time. Should you get one? Well, they're pretty uh, well um, spread as this thing was quite a sales success, a market hit for Nokia. Well, I guess the chances of you getting one of these phones in a good um, in a good uh, working order are high. These things were sold by the bucket load. They look impressive, the build construction is okay, even uh, though it's plastic fantastic all the way, they have this, well, this silhouette, this rather interesting pose to them. Uh, they're compact, but they're rugged uh, and handsome in a good way. They're also elegant, and if yours happens to be looking a bit shoddy like this one, you can always replace these outer skins for, you know, these things still offer the express on cover and also the keyboard is replaceable. So if you get a rough looking one, no worries. Uh, I think it's a staple um, cell phone if anybody is interested in collecting old Nokia's. You shouldn't miss this 6230i. So I guess that's been it for my short clip. Hope you have enjoyed it and remember, I buy, store and collect useless obsolete tech stuff like this one so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.